Hello, my name is Tejasriyan. I am studying in 5th standard in Ag Secondary School. This is a robotics project. In the robotics project, we create a game in the Sprite Lab. And now, I'll show you how to keep the name for the project. First, we click on the rename, uh, rename and then we type. If after typing, we click on the save and then and then the project name will be saved. And now I'll show you how many sessions are there in the in the Sprite Lab. So the first one is the play area. The second one is the blocks, blocks palette where you get different categories of blocks. And then it's the workspace where you do the coding part. So now I'll show you what is the play area. The play area is the place after doing the after doing this coding part, we get to know what we have done. So if we do this coding part, we'll understand what we have done in the play area. Now the blocks palette. In the blocks area, we get different categories of blocks like world, sprite, locations, events, behaviors, loops, variables, etc. In the world, we get the background, the show title screen and different blocks. And now I'll tell you some of the, uh, the uses of some of the blocks. Then now I'll show you the set background too. In this, we get to, we get to keep a background like this. Like now I have choose this background. So we use this one. And then the show title screen for like now, I'll show you how I play this game. In the play area, we have a run button and then a pause button and different and different categories of buttons. Uh, we can even use these buttons, the up arrow, the up arrow, down arrow, side and uh, the right and left arrows. We can use these or the arrows from the keyboard. I'll show you how to play this game. In this game, you uh, the, this is the Nemo fish. You should, you should help the Nemo fish eat the mushroom by touching it and not touching the angry fish in which you get, uh, in which you get your points reduced. Like now I click on run and now I'm not touching it. I'm not touching the angry fish. Now I touch the mushroom. So I got positive points. Now if I, uh, that's a, yeah, like we get a maximum number like five. If I keep the number as five, then I can even create by using the show title screen to keep the title to keep the title as you want and congratulations that is why in the title you see you want and congratulations and if you want to pause the game you can pause it like this and reset it so that you can play it again and like that there are many blocks like sprite in which you can take a sprite these these are known like this is the costumes area where you can get different uh, different sprites these mushroom angry fish plants and the nemo fish are the different uh, sprites again if you click on code we go to the coding area and now the locations the locations is the place where you have different locations like now we know this uh, this fish has a location if i press on this then I can keep the sprite where I want. Like now if I keep, I want to keep it over here, I can keep it over here and press. Then the sprite will be over there. If the, now we can't tell that the angry fish should go in my way. So if I, so in locations, if I choose random location, random location, then the fish comes in its own way. Like that we used in the, in the location, we use these blocks then the events the events block is that like now when up pressed if we click on this up 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 button we we can understand that the sprite moves up so over here they tell that when up pressed move 30 pixels south means like there are different directions east west north and south if the upper direction is like is is south then it it is known as the move 30 pixels south like that we have behavior in the behavior we get to know that how the uh, how the sprite acts like now if the sprite want to move east and do looping then we can take this block move east and looping move north move north and looping move south and other and other and other blocks
then next is the loops in the loops we get we get a block like repeat 10 times or we can keep the number in which we want in this over here we can see that there is a block over here which i have attached as repeat three times in which the fish the angry fish repeats three times if we want more than three times we can keep the number in which we want then next it's the variables in the variables we get to we get a uh, different like the set to set score to score and these in the set score to we get to know our number like when i played you saw that the points get increased or decreased so in this if we keep the set score to and the number which which is the maximum one if we keep it then the maximum number is how much you can you should play then it's math so we get to know the number which are which we are playing to get to know the number we use the math in which we can uh, choose this block and keep it and use it as a number then it's the logic now we have a question if the nemo fish touches touches the angry fish then what happens then we use this block and attach different blocks to know what happens then it's the functions in the functions you can create a function like if you if the nemo fish want to do something you can go to the text text and then you can take take the say the sprite say hello world or hello how are you or however if you attach this block to do something then the then the nemo fish can like talk and then next is the comments if you use the comment you can understand how like whatever we want to write or type we can use the comment so this is how we do the coding part now uh, has, i will show you how to take the block from the blocks palette and keep it in the workspace area so first we uh, go to variable uh, like if you want a block from the variables we we should select it select it and drag it to the workspace and leave it and if we just leave it and it won't be in the in the coding part because it is not it is not attached so if you attach it then now if i want to attach it so i'm going i i will attach it when it is attached it is colored because because now it is in the coding part but if we feel like it's not necessary and if you want to delete it select it drag it and take it to the blocks area in which you can delete it and that is how you take take uh, take the blocks from the blocks area and keep it in the workspace area and that is how you do the coding part and make your game and make your game work now i'll show you how to share it so after clicking you can you should click the share you uh, you should click on the num uh, you should click on send to phone uh, the number asks us us number if you want to send to the us people then we should use this but if we want to send it to our friends or family we should scan this we should scan this code over here we should scan it in our mobile phone and then send this link to your friends or families and you can tell them that how this works and how exciting this would be and that is how you create create a project and make it run and share it to your friends so now this is very easy and if we try it on our own we can create many and many games of our own